This podcast absolutely, unequivocally, positively, 100% contains adult material. Mature audiences only, please. Hey, welcome to the podcast rated number one by crack whores with less than three teeth, <laughs> me, and Mrs. is always right. I'm your host, me. <laughs> and she is Mrs. Always Right. I- I have more than three teeth, and I miss as always, right? <laughs> and we're coming to you from that little trailer park in Paint Rock. Paint Rock, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the professionalism he, of, of me and Mrs. is always right. I forgot where we moved this week. I, I asked once, you. and that was six minutes ago. Uh, uh, it was probably longer than that because I think it was before you ever started any kind of recording. So <laughs> and that know. one I just started without you even knowing. So uh, oh, okay. okay, okay, yeah. Right. So tell us about paint rock, paint, paint rock, paint rock, paint, paint rock. rock. Well, it's actually in what? What is that? Concho, Tex- Concho's Con- Concho County, Texas, which is down. I don't know by like San Angelo ish area, whatever ish ish. Yeah, because okay. it. I think it says that San Angelo is like 32 miles to the west of it. So I don't hear it saying anything. No, I mean, it could say. I don't know. It could say. But it is tiny because there's only 273 people here. I think you look for the smallest trailer parks around. Mm, or just whatever jumps out at me. That's what I do. I don't know. You but. spent so much time going through every city in Texas. And now it's just a <sighs> random alphabet lottery. Well, you know, I want it to always it, be random anyway. I don't want to go all the A's, A, blah, 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 nah, blah, all the way down. We want to we want to move. We want to travel. We want to see the right? world. Yeah. Yeah. You know, live on room service. <laughs> <laughs> something, something is fucking wrong with her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Pardon the... Pardon the cheap fifty dollar Chinese cameras, the the fisheye effect. But so you can get a you can get a full view of what we're doing here. What are we doing here? We're just <laughs> apparently setting. we're not fucking doing anything. No, we're so we're just setting. We're just oh setting. god, that's we're the third time anything. I I said that today. Just what? in the first. So I'm, oh so yeah, I'm crutching. I'm it a lot really today. trying to watch me saying things like that, but me, it me just too. Uh, it comes me so too. naturally. Yeah. It's so natural. We're not professionals. We've never practiced our dialogue in radio dialect. No. The only time I had anything close to this would be when I did um, a class in middle school. Did you do a class in middle school? Yeah. It was uh, speech drama, by the way. Okay. You know, we gave speeches. We did did speeches in front of the, the class and wasn't that good at it. I, I mean, You're I did not it. that good at it now. I see the class did nothing for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, but I did it's take fine. it. It was a lot of fun. That's that's where I got the experience of uh, doing theater. Theater. theater, 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 but not like the theater we went to. <laughs> did you did not you listen like to that. last week's episode? Uh, I can honestly. Do you want a truth? Or yeah, a lie? I do want the truth. Okay, last week's. No, I haven't. I've been really. Busy at work. I haven't listened to anyone or anything in two weeks. Okay. Because I was going to see if you noticed what mm-hmm. I did in that episode. Okay. You did mention something about you were I going did. to do something in there and you wanted me to listen. And see. But I, I okay, is it a C? I have no, to no, watch it? No, or it, it's you a can hear listen it. thing? Well, you were here for it, right? Last week? I, th- I, you were I would here. hope so. Yes. You remember we recorded. And we talked about uh, starting a podcast in the last half of the show. Okay. Yes. You remember yes, that? I do remember that. Well, the first half started kind of slow. Uh huh. So I took the first half and moved it to the front half, and the front half to the to the oh, back yeah? half. Oh yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Did some of that you fucking editing your shit. Bad editing That's, skills. I know. That's awesome, baby. It is, yeah. and it flowed like you would have never known. Really? Except there was one oh, part. But, I had but to play now with... you're telling everybody. Well, yeah. So now they're totally gonna well, know. This episode's brought to you by I Haven't Thought of My Name Production Yet, your production company. You need audio or video editing? Email me. Me and Mrs. Always <laughs> Right so far, because I have no idea what I'm going to call myself. But Asshole? No, no everybody oh, calls me an that's asshole. That's what everybody calls you. Okay. We have issues. This, 
Well, we had biscuits and gravy and sausage for breakfast. That, that shit was, was really good, good, but I had beer. Okay. It, it wasn't that good to you because you're not a I don't, big I don't. biscuit fan. You're not a... I, you're right. You're I'm not, not. A, a... Technically, you're really not a bread fan, you know, as far as... I don't know. I fucking love my carbs. But bread or biscuits or crackers. Oh, or I love my carbs. I just prefer my carbs in liquid form. Oh, okay. Or cheese it form. Or chip form. Or ch- chip form. Which I can very rarely do I eat any chips or cheese it's or anything only like if that. you have a sandwich because if you have a sandwich you I gotta have, have, to have chips. chips you have to have chips that's the kind of weirdo you are yes you're not like that no I wonder I, I don't know what it is I don't care what kind of sandwich it is and I like bologna but it could be tuna bologna, bologna. Uh, it could be tuna it could be any kind of sandwich and I, I feel chips have to go with it. I might not even eat but half a dozen of them, but I want a crunch with my sandwich. Okay. Sorry. Do you know how bad that was last week? No. Was it bad? Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, Matt Edson skills took I it think, out, though. Right? Yeah, how would you know? I know. I don't know. Well, <laughs> because you said you had them. That's why. I think if you're, you I think you're kneeing that table underneath is what I think. No, it was it was actually my hand. You know I got to edit this, right? Oh, what's I got to do with anything? Does that <sighs> do you take that out? No, no, but I have to compress it in the audio version because they can't see you doing this. Okay, oh, well shit. I don't. Sorry, sorry. Thanks. Shit. Blah, 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 blah. I don't think it matters, right? I I do. Oh, that's why so I'm the you, editor. You don't want any. Lol. I I hate in... I hate a lag in the action like this exact moment right here. Oh, okay. 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 You want it steady going, steady flowing all the time. You ever no listen to a pod- any podcast? No, I've never heard a podcast. I mean, I know you listen. <laughs> Don't you prefer steady action? If it starts to kind of if it starts to slow down, you lose focus. For the most part, yes. Yeah, but if okay. if they're really talking something interesting, which we probably don't do very often. We don't even know what we're talking about right now. We don't, we're just talking. Oh, oh. What? Okay, so I know this comes out after the fact, but today is Super Bowl Sunday, and I am rooting. Go Cowboys! <laughs> I think you need a time machine. Hey, you know what? It doesn't I, matter. I it am doesn't not matter. Gonna I don't... Wa- I'm not going to watch. I'm just not interested in the game. I'm not as interested in watching football as I used to be, but I still like to watch it occasionally. I am going to watch the Super Bowl there. I I watch it more for the commercials than really the game, unless I really am into the team that I'm watching. And it, well, to me, either one of these teams, I don't care who wins. I don't care either way. Who who wins? But you do care about the halftime show because Rihanna's playing. Hey, absolutely, I do want to watch the halftime oh, show. Halftime show is and usually good. But, we're not and, allowed to say the SB word S- Com- commercially. We can't call it a. Oh, okay. So it's the big time football game. Big time football game. Big time. Big time February yeah, football game. Just in case, I think I am gonna. Okay, block I'm that out. No, it's fine. I'm I just, sorry. On the radio, on the radio, when the, you ever hear you're on the radio, they're talking and they they can't say it. Really, it's not licensed, and the NFL's digs. Okay, so in my it's opinion, not, it's not licensed like a trademark license, right? So it should be open and fair game for it anybody is to say it is trademarked. Oh, it is trademarked. It is trademarked. Okay. okay. Anyway, well, I mean, I'm just rooting for whoever wins. I don't even care. I do. Really? I hate the Eagles. I mean, to me, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, I mean, not to me either, but doesn't matter. Do you? Ooh, well, oh no, go, go ahead. ahead. I, no, I was go just, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say, I I think I'm more interested in this football game and watching some of it because I was reading a little fact, blah blah blah. No, not that it really matters about, um. Nine, I think it was nine, nine or 11 uh, players that have Texas ties that are actually going to be in this big football game. Like neckties? Like neckties, yes. Yes. 
like they went to college here in the state. High school or too. High school. And it turns out one of the players in this big football game actually went to my what? I can't say my high school, but the high school that I attended because it's not mine personally. I think people get the idea when you say your high school. Yes. Anyway, so nobody, the high school nobody I attended. You own a fucking high school. Well, then I mean they could be mistaken. I might own one one day. I doubt it. But <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I'm I'm yeah, kind of so. excited. Yeah. So so. <laughs> Do you remember what we were supposed to talk about this week? No, you were. I gonna... do. You were going to write it down, but you never did. But it's okay. Oh, I remember. I remember. I didn't write it down. No, it was something probably really exciting. It was. Though. Ooh, what was it? Your decision making process. I don't have a decision making process. Apparently, I don't either. You remember the little guy on my shoulder? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yes. Dumb things. No. Anything. Dumb, Any, mostly dumb things. Anything that Mo comes in my mind is that this is it, the way I sort it out. It's like people always said about my dad. They said my dad had no filter whatsoever. He thought it, and my stepmom is the same way. They think it, and it falls out, right? They have no filter between their brain and their mouth. My you have no filter from your brain to anywhere else Nowhere on Nowhere. your body. Nowhere. Nowhere. Limbs. We were getting mouth. out of the shower a couple. We were getting out of the shower a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. And you had set yes. your foot down. All, you were in the tub, and you put your you put your leg and your foot down on the edge of the tub to dry. Yes. It. And what it just popped into my head to kick your foot. Well, you had all your weight on it, and and, and I just kicked. Almost it. died. You didn't I almost, almost die. Died. You probably seriously I almost had, got paralyzed. Is I, more like it. I have cat lot reflexes, at least that one time. I mean, that's probably my last life. I don't know. To catch myself without killing myself. I, I don't know why these, you know, looking back on it, I could see where it might have been a bad decision because <laughs> anything could have happened. Yes. But my brain, my brain is like, hey, we should, and my body's already halfway committed to doing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, before you even get the full thought of what's going on, what's happening, you're doing Consequences. It. Yes. And I don't think you would have even thought twice about it. Are you going to live? No, I'm going to die. It's fine. Okay. You, oh, my God. I, and I know you probably would have felt bad had oh, I fallen I would, hold, and I would have felt myself, horrible. But- I guarantee you, it probably would have never stopped you from doing it again. Yeah, you're, you're probably <laughs> right. You you have no kind of self control. Why on things like that at all? You why? Have, what do you mean? Why? I mean, I don't know why. I'm asking oh. myself why. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's really scary. It can be really, really scary because it. Some of the decisions that you choose to make can be detrimental to other people, but you don't care. You that's don't, not, you, no, that's not necessarily true. I, I feel, yes, unless something bad happens, you don't care. Oh, well, duh, because so, if nothing bad happens, then it was a great decision. No, not necessarily. True, sure it was. No. If you, nobody ends up in the hospital, it was a good day. No. So you think kicking my leg was a good decision because I didn't end up getting hurt. By the look on your face and the sound <laughs> of your voice, I'm going to err towards the side of no. Right. But you don't mean that. You don't believe that. <laughs> so? You, so why commit to saying, yes, I agree with you, honey. To don't. make you happy? No. No. That's, you don't? That's not how you make me happy. You have to live. You have to do fun things like that, but just err on the side of caution sometimes. That's where's that's the fun it. in that? It can still be fun without being dangerous. Huh? I, I don't see it. I that's the thing you don't. So you're see telling it. me in every decision you make in you, life. Sh sh zip okay. It, zip okay. It. You're mm -hmm. telling me every decision you make in life. You're like. I wonder what the consequences and actions of this decision are going to be. Mostly. 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 I'm sure when I was a kid, never thought about it. Till after the fact, and it was like, fuck, I'm going to get my ass whooped now. 
I'm going to be, be okay. in trouble. Yeah, and get do a it. Whooping. Do it. Own it. Own the punishment. That's all I'm saying. Absolutely. Absolutely. I see nothing wrong with that. But I just, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's absolutely crazy. What? You can Fear? hear every sound of that. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why. Oh, uh, Valentine's Day is coming up very quickly. In fact, this comes out the day after Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day. Oh, happy everyone. Valentine's Day oh, to heart. everyone. The holiday you absolutely fucking hate. Big companies like it. You don't like it. We had one of our biggest fights on Valentine's Day. <laughs> it wasn't really a fight. Oh. It was more of a meatloaf. Let's go back. Have we ever have we ever described the meatloaf situation and why you meatloaf things? Um, I don't know if we have. Maybe I'm not real sure. But so I in mean... a previous life, you used to cook. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> choose your words wisely. I, I'm choosing them wisely. I'm trying okay, not to, no, to okay, name no. names. I know. And point I know. But go go ahead. Go ahead. In a previous, previous life, life I've used, cooked. You cooked. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And apparently, you used to make meatloaf. Yes. You made meatloaf one night, and you served yes. meatloaf. Yes. And somebody got sick after eating meatloaf. Yes. One person did, not everybody. Correct. And blamed it on your meatloaf. Correct. And ever since then, you're like, I am never making fucking meatloaf again. And now... That's led to the term that if you decide you're never doing something again because somebody reacted the wrong way to something you did. Yes. You're like fucking meatloaf. That shit's yeah. meatloaf. 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 Yes. Yes. You know, you can't say, uh, yes, that was a uh, previous life, previous, what'd you call it? Because I liked what you said. I don't know. I can't. I don't got a rewind button. Okay. Well, anyway. uh previous alter ego something whatever so <laughs> but we but you get in the jurassic period she used to cook <laughs> did you hear my announcer voice <laughs> i did it was pretty good i, was I it? like Thank your you. name. yes yes yeah. it was pretty right, good awesome so i did one thing for you on valentine's you day you did but and i overreacted you you i admit i overreacted yes but i i was very hurt and i you, you were. know there were look thing, uh, good guy, other things good guy that, bad guy good no, guy the, no bad guy bad guy worst guy Ooh. bad guy worst guy the, the bad angel, guy, so you're guy. saying i don't have an angel and a demon on my shoulder no, no it's like a demon and a fucking devil dog yes no yes no Anyway, so you I you can do think that I don't do anything for you for valentine's day and that's, that's not true. true i've never said that no you do do things. You just don't do them in I do public. Do. Any, I do I do. do do. We all do do, baby. I I do do. Speaking do of do do, and we're gonna get back to this story. But you fucked up the dog's diets, and that shit has <gasps> stopped for like two weeks. Yeah, but they're back on their food. Yeah, and... but their body doesn't know it. Well, it's getting better because it's not a constant smell. I'm laying at in bed night. last night, minding my own fucking business, trying yes. to go to sleep, and got a wolf. I'm like, God damn, did they shit in the fucking bed? I know. That's what I thought. I was like, <laughs> Did oh you? Because I'm yes. not the only one. No, no. But it's way oh. better than it oh. was because we've gotten <laughs> them off of the the cheaper food that I had bought to sustain them until their food came in. Yes. But back to Valentine's. Okay, back back to Valentine's Day. So you just you you don't do anything publicly for me anymore, because that's what you did. You you had came. Uh, that is that is to true. my job. That is true. I, I think we were just were we were we living together at that point or yes we were we were. Well, I'm glad you have a memory. Mm -hmm. I've drank since then, it, once or twice. Yes, and you decorated my truck. Yes, and it was sweet, but. My friends kind of made fun of me for it, and it was kind of embarrassing and all in the same time. Uh huh. And and I think that's why the only reason I said anything like that. Okay. It was sweet. I just didn't want people to know that somebody could actually love me. That I mean, that's not true. As much as you brag, and you still brag about what a ladies' man and conqueror <laughs> you <laughs> are, <laughs> that you know, I can't see you bragging to your friends and then 
being embarrassed like that. I just, I can't see that. I feel there might have been a little more to the story. I, I don't think. But it doesn't matter. But I did get you something for Valentine's Day this year. Yes, you did. That I haven't gotten you in a very 15 long time. years to be matter of factly is it it is. is it i mean it could be i don't we were know living, a, we were living in, in the duplex double wide yes when you bought those yes and that's been yes. years that was before moving out of state those are old baby those they boots are, are old. old i know but i did buy you a, a pair of boots that you found when we went out of town a few weekends ago and that you really loved. And I yeah, finally the boot got company, the email. The boot company you never heard of. I know. I know. And I have been checking my email every day, waiting on this email that they were in because I wanted you to have them by Valentine's Day. But we just got the email uh, yesterday, which was technically Saturday. And but I got them ordered right then. As soon as I Aww. seen that email, I'm like, "Yep, get getting them right now." So I did, and I can't wait for you to get them. They are very nice boots. And you got you you got yourself a, a couple of nice pair of boots. I, I did. I have had. But I a told hard you I would have bought, but you went and bought them without me anyway. Okay, I, I took just you up to, to the look. boot store. I took you up to the boot store what a week ago, and we couldn't find a pair of boots that you like because you're so fucking picky. And the way they fit, and you're like, look, matter of fact, here, hang on, hang on, talk, talk. Uh, okay, what do you want me to do? Because I have a pair of boots at the I, same time. I just yes. bought her these. Uh, no, don't say just bought. I've had those for a couple of years. Look how new they are. Look I've, how new they I've are. I've tried to wear them. They hurt my feet. They are a nice boot. I like the dark colored leather on my boots. The top part to me doesn't matter. Nobody sees it anyway. It's underneath my pants. Not I if you're wearing care. a skirt like all the chicks at the club do. Uh, yeah, not gonna do that. Sorry, never have done it. Probably never gonna. You do You don't want to get those calf hugging uppers that you wear no. with your skirt. No. no, that's not you. No, not me. Have you ever seen me dress like that? No, I have not. But I can hope. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like buying a lottery ticket. I know I'm not gonna win, but I still buy the fucking ticket anyway. <laughs> Did you buy us a ticket? The the last time, yeah. The we last lost. time, oh uh, yeah. I know we haven't. I know we haven't won because you know I'm we don't still have here? new cameras. Because I'm still here. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. would probably leave, and then in a couple of months, I would get a postcard from you from you know from Puerto country, Rico from, or something. No, no, no. Switzerland. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico still the United States territory. <laughs> I would move to a non extradition country. <laughs> That's Switzerland. I don't think Switzerland. No, they're just extradites. neutral. They have an extradition. I am going Do to they? a non extradition country. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. 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 It would, I, I would just get a, but that po postcard would come from a layover that you did somewhere else. Right, so right. I would never know where he was at. And That's you would right. just like, baby, here's 50 bucks. I'm sorry I had to leave, but you know, uh, something, buy some eggs. something suddenly came up. Yes. Buy some eggs. My <laughs> buy, some, <laughs> buy some egg. $50. That's, uh, that's all you're going to get. You're going to get about two dozen eggs. With fifty dollars. Well, the good news is, mm -hmm. wherever I'm going, you can have the truck and the side by side and the buy. You can have it okay, all. Okay, how are you going to get to the airport? Uber. Uh, I was going to say, at that point, you got all this money. You'll just Uber. Oh, Uber. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm glad you'll leave me with all the debt. I appreciate that, baby. If we hit the lottery, <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> That's not true. We going on vacation. That that is true. We are going on vacation. <laughs> We gonna go everywhere, but I'm still gonna be with you, and I can say okay. that because I haven't hit the lottery. No, well, yes, and I'm, yeah. you haven't and made I, up your mind technically and, and I, yet. And I wholeheartedly, bad guy, worst guy, right? Bad I wholeheartedly guy, believe that I will be here even if we do hit the lottery. I want to believe that, okay? And I, I truly believe you want to believe that. Now, whether it's true or not. We may never know because I just I I, I would, would love rather, to win the lottery. I would too, but yeah. I think I'm happy right where we are because we have a good life. We do, and and I'm just afraid that that would bring all kinds of problems. Oh, it's going to bring, hit... bring problems anyway. Oh yeah. So the the <gasps> my bad. I'm sorry. Oh, girl. cut it out. Oh my god. Right now, sorry. The last person that hit the 1.3 billion we know was was in Illinois. Okay. 
That I is didn't life. Know that. that is life changing money. Oh, life yeah. changing. I want that kind of money. And everybody, <laughs> everybody and their fucking second cousin is coming after you for something. Yes. Remember, we went to elementary school, the same yes. elementary school, four years difference yes. in us, but we walked the same hallway one time. I got this it, here, you know, vitamin pyramid scheme I'm trying to get into. Yes. And you could join in for the paltry sum of two million dollars. <laughs> it's all two million. Just, just two I'll million. I'll pray for you. Yes. Here, dear heavenly father. Wow, you're you're bu- you're buying that. Wow. <laughs> oh no, no, no. I you might think I am. Baby, I missed my calling. No, I I should have been a, I should have been a televangelist. No, no, I, I don't think you have the mouth for that. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I would. I'm the cussing televangelist. <laughs> <laughs> I, if there's a niche there, you could work that angle. But I got a whole, whole new flock of people. Oh. Uh, uh, I'm no, going to go don't. to the bars and okay. to the whorehouses and the strip clubs uh-huh. and start preaching. I'm going to be like, Jesus don't mind you looking at the titties. Jesus don't mind. Jesus looked at titties too. I'm sure Jesus Jesus did. just wants you to pay me while you're looking at the titties. Yeah. See? You get a dollar for them, a dollar for me. Two for me, baby. I got I to get their soul I into mean, heaven. But, but That's you a don't lot have of work to be in selfish. I'm not. The stripper gets a dollar? And you get a dollar. Two dollars. I gotta get them into heaven. Wait, no. See, you take a dollar. You don't want to. You don't want to seem like you're greedy. You don't oh, want to yeah? seem like the greedy preacher type, right? So when you I, take a dollar, let me explain it. You, 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 take, you explain it. You take a dollar for every dollar that the stripper gets. Okay. If you think about it, there's more than one stripper at the strip club. Okay. So you get a dollar per stripper. Well, duh. So. For every one dollar that this girl makes, these five other makes a dollar. So you're making six dollars versus they're only one dollar. I'm just trying to get in. You're to gonna it all. get there. Okay, all you, you're gonna get there. All right. Every guy in the strip club should have to give me a dollar if they're given a dollar. It's Jesus tax. Just a dollar. Yes, not two dollars. You were saying two dollars. I think it's we could get two dollars, but you're you're fucking no. You don't want to like be selfish. You're like the Salvation selfish. Army of fucking tit clubs. You don't no. want to be selfish. Says who? Okay, I don't want to be selfish. You be selfish if you want to. Wait, first of all, you are selfish. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I made that abundantly clear. You have over several times over several years. I'm not a selfish person. You are not a selfish person. Self- person. Sh- shell- person. Shellfish. You are not a shellfish. <laughs> I'm not a shellfish. <laughs> You're not a shellfish. Today. So, yeah, I'm not selfish. I, at least I try not to be. Sometimes I want to be. Okay. But I, I just, I want, I don't want people to think I am. Why? What does it matter what other people think? It's as really not as, what as long other as you're think. happy and I'm happy. But but I'm happy not bothering other people. Ain't and nobody in here bothering other people. That's the whole point of being selfish is not to bother other fucking people with gifts and good stuff. Okay. I would take all the gifts and all the good stuff. And not give it. I mean, if I had had it to give, I would give it. So if you won $1.3 billion, you would give all that money away to everybody who asked for it? No. Selfish? Yes. That's being selfish. I mean, it's being cautious. It's being cautious. selfish. Selfish. Cautious. I just don't cautious. sound right. I don't sound right to you, but it's fine. Oh, I ain't giving nobody a dime. If you weren't here for me now, and you coming at me then, no. Oh, no. Yeah. No, uh, no I, I'm with you. I believe you. And I agree with you. I'm I'm that way too. I don't want to not going to if I haven't talked to you in my family 15, 20 years, uh yeah. And when I say family, I mean immediate fucking family. Not Jimmy Joe, fifth cousin who lives in West Virginia, who don't know what a fucking real toilet is because he's still going to the outhouse. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Have you ever gone in an outhouse? Yes. Do I ever want to again? No. Okay. Okay. No. And it, it and it reminds me of the experience you had at Crossbar. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh-huh. And every time I go to an outhouse, we went riding. We went riding at a park. And and they had like one outhouse in the, for this cabin. And it was full to, it was, it was horrible. Disgusting. Disgusting. And yes. I don't know whose responsibility it is to clean the outhouse. It is. But baby, I would have shit outside company. next to the fucking outhouse. It, That's uh, what I would have done. Oh, yeah. It was. It I don't was know how gross. you did it. Hey, when you got to go, you got to go. I mean, it's that simple. You know, I just can't squat down. I don't know. Sometimes I can just. Oh, squat bullshit. Down and because shit we're, on we're out in the beach. middle of the trails <laughs> and there ain't no, uh, no bathroom around and you go out there and squat. Yeah. I mean, that's true. Do you want me to get you the pee funnel? I have a pee funnel. Then where is it? Do you take it? No, I don't take it. I've never used it. Why? Genius. You I just mean, stand it there could by. be genius. Baby, yeah, just baby, stand there you gotta and just bring whip it. it out, look like a little penis that's, poking out. No, oh, that's what I'm saying. Just pee. We, we got to bring it and not tell anybody and just tell them I got to go pee and then walk over and just stand just by stand a tree. stand by a tree so and mark everybody... my territory. I'll do like this, like I'm shaking and I'm doing the helicopter <laughs> with my dingling or something. Just let, leave everybody. <laughs> just leave everybody fucking guessing when you're standing there pissing by the tree. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking great. We might have to try that just to freak them out. But do you think, though, not everybody's going to be sober enough to remember that. They're going to say. Oh, they're going to remember Did that. Did I see that? They're, no, they're, I didn't see that. I've had a little too much they're, to drink. They're, they're, they're going to remember that, baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Maybe one day we will freak them out. Maybe. Maybe I'll take it. Yeah. So, yeah. The picture. 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 Yeah. My but hand anyway, is covering that one. Yeah, I know. It's the angle of the camera. I know. That fish, fish lens. Fish eye lens. Oh. Fish eye lens. And when we get better cameras. When we win the lottery and we, we have millions we, of dollars to we spend don't need on millions camera of dollars. equipment. It's a tax write-off. I don't understand what the problem is. All right. 40 minutes cover the pre-show content. I um, think. Where do we start at six minutes? Yeah. Roughly around there. Six, seven minutes. Something like that. Hey, thanks for being part of the show. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please email us at me and Mrs. Always right at gmail.com. All complaints go to Trevor the Intern. Wow. Got nice. you down, babe. Yeah, so you can also find us Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. <laughs> and help support this podcast at Patreon slash Me and Mrs. Always Right, where you get pre and post show content right along with unedited episodes. Or be a sponsor and just go, you know what? If you mention my product, whatever it may be, I will give you said product for free. I'm hoping it's gummies. Uh, gummies or beer or something. I was on YouTube. I was on YouTube, right, uh-huh. watching. Uh-huh. And the Delta 9 commercial came on, and I'm like, Delta that's my... Co- it's the legal weed. Oh, okay. It's the okay. legal gummies. Oh, okay. I and, I'm, and I'm thinking, perfect sponsor. Perfect fucking sponsor. Well, you know what? Send them an email. Yeah, we'd be like, hey, we get two downloads a month. Please sponsor us. Do you know what, though? I mean, if we were sponsored by them, started mentioning them more, people would listen, and then they could buy the gummy and listen to us, and we'd be twice as funny, maybe four times funnier, and they would it would be hilarious because we not... could say we could say with our code that we're going to give you, you're going to get ten percent off of this product. You'll get ten percent higher. <laughs> I didn't say they'd get higher. I would just say maybe they would get five or ten oh, percent off the product using the code that we do in our podcast. I mean, it can happen. Things like no, that happen. No, no. And if we keep plugging along, in probably the next twenty years, we might make a dollar. Oh my God! Can we frame it? Yes. I want to spend it. The first. Can yes. I buy something pretty? Yes. Okay. Yes. You can, you, you <laughs> can, can I pay off something? From the dollar store. That's it. Okay. <laughs> you can buy something from I, the dollar store. No, I can't because I think everything's a dollar twenty five now. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking, not the dollar fucking store. Fucking inflation. I know. It's like the dollar twenty five store. Oh, can you imagine in twenty years from now? The twenty everything's twenty bucks. It's a five dollar store. It's oh, yeah, they have a, a store. store. They have a store yeah. called that. And uh, but not everything is five dollars. I think there. that's where you buy all my Christmas from the five dollar store. I buy you Christmas. Uh, wait, you do. I go to the homeless shelter and I'm like, I'm homeless, <laughs> but I identify as a man. So um, give me gifts. And that, that's what I bring oh, yeah? to you. <laughs> All no? right. I love um, you, baby. Okay. All right. I love you too, honey. All right. You have a great night.
You too. Enjoy your halftime show. Enjoy your halftime well, show. Well, you're gonna you're gonna watch it with me, right? Am I? Yeah, you probably will. God damn it. Okay. All right. I love you. I love you too, honey. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>